Halo. <coughs> hey guys, welcome back. Hey. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Peaceful. As you may see, my voice is not good <coughs> because it's my throat is which hurts, which is hurting. So yeah, today's episode is about. As you may see, like now I've got this, the honey belt, the honeycomb belt. As you may see, I got 449 million honey, and that I'm a better the game. So what I normally do, use the red cannon, like, when I'm playing daily, I use the, I use the red cannon. <sighs> and then, I normally start. made an update, I started with the pineapple, then I go to the bamboo, then I go to the bamboo, so that, yeah, and then now they updated it, so you have to collect it yourself, there's a new honeybee, <coughs> and then I, norm then I go to the spider field, go to the spider field then I go to strawberry I think this is the most efficient way the most efficient strategy and then after you kill the ladybugs you go up here like you don't want to face it alone so I go in the pine tree you try and then they all come to you, and then yeah, it's easy. So you go to the pine tree, and then that's it. And basically done for. And then you go down to the rose field. And then you kill the scorpions. Don't when the scorpion's jumping at you, don't let it like drain your health because scorpions normally kill you. Well, it kills me if I just let them like if I take damage. Like, if you stand here, like, let see, like, continuous damage. It's like, and then after you go to the mushroom field, but it depends if you have. Well, all you all you need to, all you need to have is just 15 bees. That's all you need. To do. If you don't have the cannon unlocked, it's fine. If you don't have the cannon, then you just use the slingshot, and then you do everything that I just said. Oh yeah, and there's the bubble bee man. And then there's the honey bee. The reason why they changed it is because the honey bee does hard quest. And so, you can, as you can may see, fat, I'm on the second quest, and the first one was hard. Make sure you pick up your vicious bees. That's if they spawn at night time. Because if you're lucky, I'm lucky. I've quite of a headache. Because. Uh, make sure you collect your sprouts. <coughs> make sure you 
sure you go for the fireflies. They'll really help. Because right now, I've got a lot of tickets. And now, I have 76 and I'm trying to like get 100. So you just do the five flies and do it normally, like you would always do. So yeah, there's no difference in that. Just always try to get your five flies. Make sure you guys get the Make sure you guys get the code 2 million favorites As you may see you go here No, I don't even know where they're gone. In the chat, now it'll say when you've completed a code, when you complete a quest. So, now, wait, oh, it's the brown bear, not the polar bear. So make sure you stock up on your crafting resources. I hope as well. Make sure when you're doing the quest, you use your honey storms. I just need to get up there. I'm trying to let your gifted do the ant challenge. Right. After I've done this, we'll start off with the ant challenge. And don't forget to do your King Beetle and Tunnel Bear if you're that high of a level. And then, because I have like 14 amp passes, I can start this. I start off with my sprinklers. The vicious bee would help, but they can be quite hard to get. It took me a while to get it. So this is mostly about strategy. Because if, if, if you have the photon and it uses it, it will cause a lot of ants, and it's happened to me many times. And it's not too great when that happens. Be careful of the flying ants, and there's the giant ant. Don't stay too close to them, or they'll pop up and kill you if you're too close to them. Alright, and challenge is five minutes, I believe. I get high school. My high score is a hundred and three. See, so be careful of the photon. And be careful of the lawnmower. The lawnmower can melt your health down. Gummy sprouts are spawned. Anyway, um, in the updates, so they've also they changed the music back to normal because Chris, the Christmas thingy, was removed. 
and they used to change the color and the bee bear's gone but now you need 500 tickets to get the festive bee that's if you didn't do his quest see that's what the festive bee does and See? See what I mean? They can do a lot of damage. They can do a lot of damage. So you better just try your hardest to avoid all damage. As you may see, you will regenerate health. And we have 1 minute and 46 seconds left. And we have a score of 83, 84. So, and there's also instant conversions, so you won't be getting pollen, you'll be getting honey, as it says here. Yeah, I wasn't looking. And there we go next round flying ants and also make sure to level up your bees so that they're at the right level As soon as you get on, you should probably start it off with a ant challenge before you're doing the using the field boosters. Careful when it's like, careful when it's at the very end. As you may say, I got a diamond amulet and I died. 35% critical, 16% blue, 70%. This one's better. So, yeah, and we have a new diamond amulet. We have a king beetle, diamond. Moon amulet, and then we have the bronze, um, bronze stick book challenge, and then we have the gifted bee badge. Another code, um, wait. And then we should probably get most things from here. I don't use this belt because I got a better one. Right, let's use a field booster. And it's clover field. So I normally glide over to clover. My favorite fields are clover, clover rose, clover rose, bamboo, pineapple, cactus, and pumpkin. Those are my favorite fields. Because I mostly get them in the field booster. Make sure, like, depending on which sprinkler you have you you try and put it into like a shape like if you have the the default one you just you can put it anywhere i put it in the middle of the field if you have the silver soakers which are sil which are which are the second one you put them half here and half here if you have me, the golden gushers, you put it in a triangle. If you have the diamond drenches, 
you you put it in the square because it's four and if you have the supreme something i forgot you can put it anywhere because that's the best one in the game to get a sprinkler also while also costing honey it also costs badges you also need like your badges done So you better get working on your badges, as you may see. I've got a master badge here, a hot spot, because the quest one's quite hard. Playtime, 13 hours, and if we go, stump snail's gonna be the worst because I haven't completed stump snail. If you're doing the honeybee bag, doing the honeybee quests, make sure you use honey stones and use the stick bull challenge. And sprouts could help as well. But mostly the stick bull challenge. Make sure you try and save your crafting resources and trying to craft for the honey mask as you may see. And from those five flies, I got eight four moon charms, I believe. And you see by day on day on you're still making progress even if you're not looking at it so it looks like got quests we need to do but today i'll just be oh and also do this the bubble mask will have a face the pumpkin will have a face and the pineapple will have a face there we go they can help a little bit the sunflower has a face as well and if you have like sprouts which i don't have i won't waste any i don't want to buy any because i might save up i just can't wait can't you as you may see, like, Onet said there's gonna be an update, mate, he's gonna, on the store now, there might, there's not gonna be the festive bee, but when there's gonna be the main update, the festive bee will be in the store, that's what he said, on Discord, and my inventory is full, you can use the instant converters or use your hive. The honeybee rewards is like two times conversion rate, so it makes this quicker. So you see, this is quite slow. This might take a bit. I've got all the bees except from baby. Because baby costs Robux. Costs a thousand Robux. I have loads of quests to do. I can't believe I have to do 150 million. It's just really shocking. That's probably going to take a while. Because for my mushroom badge, I've only got 214. 
because it's not one of the strongest fields in the world. Strongest fields in the game. Alright. See? Now this has a face as well. Yeah, the stump cell might be glitched sometimes. <laughs> Alright, let's go back. I don't know what to spend now. My honey on. Right, I'm back. I have the puppy bee fetch. If you get a star treat, um, turn a, a, a event to be gifted. Don't turn, don't turn a like a legendary. No, just turn an event bee because you can't get an event bee legendary unless you have. Want to an event be gifted unless you have a star treat? So only use that's why I completed all Mother's Bear quests to level up one bee to level 10, like a few bees to level 9, and most of all your, your bees to level 8. So I got gifted Vicious Bee minus 50% monster respawn times, which I found health helpful. Oh, so you, as well as having these gifted, the only bee which you shouldn't have gifted is this, because I don't think you can just get it off the bat. And this one's got a good one, plus 20% pollen, which is good. As you may see, I have 16 gifted. So I'm just going to check in my star thingy. If I can claim some real jellies. Four minutes. I got this one. Then I did this one. I'm trying to get this one. And then I'll try and get this one. Oh, I didn't see that one. Can't believe I didn't see that. Sorry if you hear something in the background. It's just a TV. I don't think you can see it. Anyway. As we're slowly ending into the video. I will do the clover boost, but I don't want to spend the whole video doing the clover boost. And make sure you go to the on top of the gummy bee, giving gumdrops, then do the glue dispenser. It's easier if you just kill yourself. I know I'm wasting two, two million pollen, but it doesn't matter. I can get that easy. It looks like it's night time. So again, you do the same thing. You look for the vicious bee. He spawns in top field. Then I normally glide down to clover. I mean to cactus. And then you could go to spider. Or you could go to rose. And then finally you go to clover. <laughs> 
looks like oh there it is we see a spike then that means he's there That you get a vicious bee. It requires 250 spikes, which took me a while to get. Trust me, it takes me a while. Right, let me just try and find the fireflies. Try to do your fireflies, that's what I'll tell you. And advice is just always try and do your fireflies, they really, really do help. I'm trying to be quick helps as well because people are most likely to take it, which can quite be annoying. And it's the end. Ah. And it does give you infinite gun drops, but I didn't use it wisely. Let's finish off this field booster and then we'll end the video there. I think my sprinklers despawned for some reason. So yeah, that it depends if you have festive B, you could do that. This gives you 100%. It's the conversion. So let me just put sprinkler. I'm just putting it random because we only have like a minute left. So, yeah. If you're starting off, just try and do the base quest. And that would really help. It took me a while to get to this stage. I started the game at April last year. The game came out in February. It came out in March, I think. Or February, I'm not sure. But make sure you what make sure you watch this. Make sure you try and play this game. Some Roblox. I'll be playing some other Roblox games. But just put it in the comments if you want to see it. So the field boost is over. Full boost is over. So before I end the episode. probably do this and then boom I get 16 more jellies because I got 16 gifted and then normally go to crafting resources I need to craft oil oil and 